Welcome back, everyone. I'm Carlos. I'm Brooklyn for so far. I'm here with my good friend Steven in New Jersey. Hey, Carlos. How's it going? Great. Shooting some videos with you, so I'm great. <laughs> it's always a good time. <laughs> a new release from Euphoria in Brooklyn. You know the man, right? Yeah, I do. Steven, Steven Dirks from Brooklyn. Love the house. Love the guy. He's a great guy. <clears throat> and um, his latest release is called Butterfly or Butterflies? Butterfly. butterfly. Singular. Singular. Just one beautiful butterfly. And we're gonna to talk to you about his latest release. Okay, cool. I'm excited. So what do we know <laughs> about this baby right here? Uh, 2017 release. Um, we've had the opportunity to interview Stephen Dirks, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Me on my channel, you on your channel. And this is a scent that is meant to sort of recreate the habitat of butterflies or the habitat in which butterflies thrive. I love that concept. I really do. I think it's pretty cool, yeah. Actually, there's a little video that Steven said I could share. Why don't we take a look cool. at it right now? What do you get from this? It's on the paper here, on the Red Lessons test strip. This is our official sample. Yeah. It reminds me of this tea that I used to drink called Holy Basil, sounds, which is not sounds real. good. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's um, it's like basil, but it uh, it has a minty aroma, and this one is super minty, mm -hmm. like quite minty, but it has an herbal nuance to it as well. <clears throat> For me, it opens very, very herbally. The mint is pronounced. Mm. It's almost like, whoa, what is this? It's a, it's a little, it's a quirky kind of different opening. But when it dries down on skin, it goes like a beautiful aquatic. Yeah. Like like a beautiful pond, sunny sky. Like, like how did you do that? Like, how did yeah. you do that? You know? So it's a little, it, it, has, it has phases for sure. And um, I quite enjoy that. Yeah. When I heard the name, I thought it was going to be like a butterfly. It was going to be soft and delicate and fragile and feminine. And, <laughs> and then I smell it. I'm like, oh, this is pretty cool. Like I was, I was a little bit worried about it, but I, no, I think Steven did a really wonderful job with this one. Like from right here, I smell mint. Me too. I smell the mint clearly. Mm -hmm. And we were just smelling real mint in his backyard. He's got like <laughs> 92 bushes of mint in his backyard. <laughs> I just, um, I think. It's a really fun scent to wear. Uh, even though I personally haven't worn it, I like really want to wear it. I wish I had more than this sample right here, which is yours. I don't even have a sample. Um, but it's, it has that herbal tinge. It's minty. Uh, it's a very light and invigorating scent. I know we use that adjective a lot, but this one, it really, it's true to form. It's invigorating. It really wakes you up. And uh, I think it would be great for the summer, like spring and summer. Which is why he released it in the summer, I suppose. Yeah, Good timing. makes sense. Um, this is not like anything that you're going to smell. It does, I can't name one or two things that it smells like. It's definitely original. It's definitely artisanal. Yeah. yeah. You know, and it's got his paintbrush strokes on it. Steven yeah. has a certain style. He, he's, it could be almost over the top, if you will. Yeah. And um, I think there's an audience for that, for sure. He's a self-taught perfumer and he's very talented. What I like about his fragrance is everything from, I think it's called 100 Tweeds mm -hmm. to Chocolato. Um, all of them are really good. The execution oh, is so good. Chocolato. Chocolato. I think I might have mispronounced it the first time. No, 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 no. I'm laughing. I'm like, Chocolato. What's up? My inner Gita shout. <laughs> Just, uh, he's, he's really talented. That's all I have to say. He's really and, talented. And such an amazing guy. Like... You cannot not be entertained when you're chilling with that guy. He's so, he's super generous. He's invited me to a few different events. Yeah, and uh, He's always 
he's always open to talk. He always makes time for you. He's just very down to earth. And his partner guy. Tal is also a photographer. She does a lot of his stuff. She's real talented as well. Yeah. She was actually set designer when I did. We did a review of one of his fragrances with um, somebody from a tribe called Quest, and I was playing piano. Okay, and he yeah, was DJing. yeah. Remember that one? I do. <laughs> yeah. Well, this was a lot of fun to sniff, and thank you so much for sharing with us, Stephen. Thank you. With myself and Stephen. And uh, <laughs> all of you, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed doing this with me. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed the fragrance. Thank you. It's always a pleasure when we bring something on camera and we're genuinely like passionate about it. We're like, wow, that's a really good scent. It's hard to talk about the ones that we're not so passionate about, which I think is why we tend Everybody, to avoid them. Yes. <laughs> I I'd out. rather trade the passion on the good side. Anyway, thank you all for watching and we'll check you at the next review. Take care. But it's definitely original. It's def def and you guys, thanks so much for watching it. Watching it? What are you watching? You're watching us. So. Us, it, the review, it. <laughs> Here we go. Um, that's Let's strike one here, right? Here we go. <laughs> Steven, thanks so much for staring. Thank you. Staring. <laughs> Why are you staring, Steven? <laughs> <laughs> you got great hoopers, okay. Why are you thanking me, Carlos? <laughs> is, is it Stefan or Steven? Steven. It is Stephen? Steven, but P it's called with a PH. Alright, cool. But it's Steven. <laughs>